Hello, welcome to Channel 5 News. Tonight's first story. Um, a rape victim is fighting for justice uh, after her attacker has still yet to be charged. A young woman, Sandra Gold, who, uh, who was subject to a vicious sexual assault in Hull last year, has condemned the justice system for her attacker has still not been sentenced. The 24 year old was walking home from a nightclub when she was pulled under a bridge. The attack was stopped by police responding to a 999 call. Um, the victim said she felt that her attacker had been treated better than her. This would raise many questions within the justice system. Uh, second, the three young teenagers hospitalised in a car crash. The three young teenagers have been hospitalised after a car crash late last night. Four, of the pass four passengers were riding in the car, which is found to have been stolen. Three boys aged 15, 16 and 17, as well as a 15 year old girl, were in the vehicle that rode, rolled on its side at about 1am. The girl and two of the boys were taken to Wrexham Park Hospital before the other boy was referred to John Radcliffe to be treated for serious injuries. One of them had fled the scene and later arrested on suspicion of aggravated vehicle taking and other driving offences at, at an address in Maidenhead. Talisa has been uh, Talisa was to face an assault charge in Basildon Magistrates Court. The, the lawyer for former end up singer and ex actor judge Talisa has asked magistrates for an assault charge against her to be dropped. The 25 year old denies assaulting a man in last year's V Festival, speaking at Basildon Magistrates Court. Uh, Jeremy Dean QC said the backstory to the alleged assault concerned a sex date. The prosecution said it will review the case before an expected trial later this month. Mr. Dean said the case against the singer concerned on matters of a highly sensitive nature. He said Talisa was not plundered and was accused of throwing a punch on the 18th of August 2013, which has caused no injury. Mr. Dean requested the case be stayed, claiming it was nothing to do with public interest. The court was told the defence would be providing the prosecution with further details, which would then be considered. UKIP are facing more more racial backlash today after Health Secretary Jeremy Hunt was an attack on UKIP saying the party is attracting racist candidates who are making disgusting comments. The UK Independence Party is attracting racial, racial candidates who make disgusting and fundamental un-British comments and senior cabinet minister has said. Jeremy Hunt, the Health Secretary, said UKIP leader Nigel Ferg had to denounce one of his candidates after making a series of racist comments on Twitter. Uh, and finally, another Twitter-related story. Um, Sally Bricou, the speaker's wife, has been at it again on Twitter. Her last tweet appealed, appears to Liberal Terry Wogan. Ms Bricou labelled Lord Mac, uh, McAbeen earlier in the year and had to pay out a uh, £15,000 fine. It seems that she had made the same mistake yet again after posting more horrible tweets. Uh, and finally, we up to the roof to have them <laughs> for the weather report from Sally. It's okay, she's just feeling a bit depressed.